I always knew I wanted to be an attorney. I did a lot of time in juvenile court before the systems all changed over to how they are now. I had a period of time that I did not practice law. I was able to stay home with my children, spent a lot of time volunteering and working in their schools. So when I first went back to work, I was primarily a guardian ad litem because so many of the kids in the system were kids I had had at school. We take the role of guardian ad litem very seriously. We all spend a lot of time and work really hard trying to ensure the safety of these children. I spend a lot of time talking to kids. I think it's important for me to build relationships with them. My goal for every child is for them to have a safe environment, for them to feel valued and loved. Um, one problem I see so many times with kids in the system is that they don't feel like anybody cares about them as an individual they are just part of the system. I want these children to believe that even if this court case closes, they can contact me and I will do what I can to help them because so many of these kids have never had an adult who wants the best for them, who considers them first. And I, I just feel like it's a really important thing for us to do to try to make sure that they understand that we'll be there to support them throughout the process. CASA is important to the community because these children are our future. And if we don't help now and we don't fix the problems that we're seeing now, we're just perpetuating a generational problem that increases each generation. So it's critically important for us to get involved with these children and do everything that we can. When it is utilized correctly, and when you have a well-trained CASA worker, that worker means the world to me as a guardian ad litem because it's somebody who can do things that I don't have time to do. They can make all the connections. They can talk to the teachers, talk to the foster parents, talk to the parents and bring me back a report that tells me what I need to do as far as my role. CASA workers are the people who can kind of make sure that the glue holds together as you work through the system. Anyone who's willing to learn and who cares about kids and who cares about the future of our community, I think it's a wonderful place to put your volunteer hours. Working with CASA can be an extremely rewarding experience.